Welcome to the Charcoal Barbecue Kitchen where everything is cooked with charcoal. Today I'm going to be cooking up one of my favorite pieces of meat, the rabbit. I wish I could cook the ones that are hopping around in my backyard up, but I'm not sure if they're safe to eat or if the Humane Society would like that. But this uh, tastes really good, folks, from the supermarket. So first thing we're going to do is create a brine and we're going to let it brine about seven hours. The basics of the recipe is found below. It is based upon Chris Lilly's rabbit brine from his book Big Bob Gibson's Barbecue, which I highly recommend. The brining is done here and we want to load it onto the spindle rotisserie system here and you have to tie the legs on a little bit so that the rabbit is secure. You can also tie the internal organs up if you wish, but I didn't bother here. Now I've created a briquette fire. And that's one of the advantages of briquettes is that it uh, really creates a long, stable, excellent fire for rotisseries. We're going to cook the rabbit for about one hour and you want to use some nice smoking wood briquettes don't impart any delicious flavor really into your meat. It's hardwood but you need to add a little bit of smoking wood. So you can use uh, fruit woods or something light similar to chicken. And after about 45 minutes or so you want to start glazing the rabbit with my uh, special glaze that I made up. This is a ginger soy glaze and this is just delicious. It imparts a nice sweet gingery flavor to the rabbit and it's done. We're looking at an internal temperature of 170 degrees in the thicker back legs. Front legs cook a little bit faster. So now you've got the whole rabbit. How are you going to serve that up? So you want to cut the loin away from the legs. So if you have your electric knife, get that ready. So I'm just separating the loin from the legs here. As I mentioned, this is kind of like chicken, but it's really a nice uh, alternative if you're tired of the same old chicken, beef, and pork all the time. I'm constantly looking for different and interesting meat to cook up. I wish there were much, much more variants at the supermarket than there is. Here's the meat being cut. It's very much like chicken. It's nice white meat. You can serve it with some nice summery sides there. You can see how juicy that is. Wow. There's the loin. It's also very juicy and tender. And a close-up of the front leg. Give it a try. It's delicious.